Hello and welcome to the world of recipes. I am Vaishali and today we are going to learn Hyderabadi Mutton Biryani. So let's see the ingredients. For making Hyderabadi Mutton Biryani, we need mutton 700 grams, basmati rice soaked in water. This is also 700 grams. We have to take equal amount of meat and rice, yogurt 3 tablespoons, ginger and garlic paste 3 tablespoons, coriander powder. 2 tablespoons cumin powder 1 tablespoon this is meat masala 1 and half tablespoon turmeric powder half tablespoon chili powder 1 tablespoon salt according to taste i have taken about 1 and half tablespoons here then we need fried onions and green chilies cinnamon sticks 3 to 4 green cardamom 5 to 6 and bay leaf 2 to 3 lots of mint leaves handful of coriander leaves and oil as per requirement. We need few strands of saffron soaked in milk and ghee or clarified butter as per requirement. Let's start making biryani now. First we need to marinate this mutton. I have washed this mutton 2-3 times with water. Now I am going to add this yogurt, ginger garlic paste, coriander powder, cumin powder, meat masala, turmeric powder, chili powder, and about half tablespoon of salt I am adding here then we will add in about one tablespoon of oil now we will mix this mutton with all these ingredients nicely we need to marinate this chicken for half an hour at least keep it in the refrigerator and marinate it now after the marination this chicken is out of fridge now we will start making biryani now I have added 3 to 4 tablespoons of oil to this vessel in which I am going to cook my biryani. I have used the same oil in which I have fried my onions. Now as the oil is hot, we will add in this cardamoms. Now we will add this green chilies. Cook this chilies for a minute or so. And then quickly add this meat, mutton. Mix it with the chilies. We will add in handful of fried onions and handful of mint leaves. Now we will close the lid and let it cook for about 20 to 25 minutes till it's 90% done and we are going to cook it on a medium flame in 10 minutes that our mutton is cooking till that time we'll start preparing our rice now i kept this water for boiling i'll add this bay leaves and cinnamon sticks in this water and a generous amount of salt this water should taste salty like a sea water i have added about two tablespoons of salt here let it boil now. Now we will add in about 3 tablespoons of oil here. We are using same oil in which we have fried onions. So all the flavors will come in our biryani. Now the water is hot enough. We will add in this soaked rice to this. Mix rice with water properly. Don't stir it too much. We don't want our rice to break. And let it cook on the medium heat till it is 90% done. Now our rice is 90% cooked but our meat is still not cooked. We will remove this rice from the water and keep it in separate container. We will cover it and keep it. Drain out excess water. Now this meat is 90% done and even our, our rice is 90% done. Now we will layer the rice over the meat. Now on this rice we will layer our fried onions, some cilantro and some mint leaves. And we will add in our saffron milk to it. Then we will add about 2 tablespoons of ghee here cover the lid again and just cook it two minutes on high flame and then lower the flame and cook it for 10 minutes on low flame now it's been 10 minutes we'll turn off the flame let it rest for 10 minutes more to retain all the aromas inside 
now let's serve it always take biryani from the edges like this make sure not to break the rice add in some coriander leaves and serve it hot i'm sure you're going to love this biryani post your comments in my comment section thanks for watching this recipe for more recipes keep on watching world of recipes thank you hello and welcome to the world of recipes i'm veshali and today we are going to learn hyderabadi mutton biryani so let's see the ingredients 